Hello, South Bay at Scientists. Today, we're gonna to talk about ice and salt and what happens when the two meet. You know how the township puts a lot of um, liquid or granules on the roads and walkways? Those are put down to make the ice melt faster. And how this works is the surface is um, of the ice has the materials, the chemicals put on it. They slowly melt and refreeze and melt and refreeze. And eventually it continues melting to the point where the road is clear or the sidewalk is clear. And in the in-between time, the ice gets really uneven. So it makes it easier for tires or your shoes to grip the road. So how are we going to demonstrate some of the ice? Well, there's different ways that you can create ice at home. The easiest way, of course, is to just use your ice maker to make ice. Another thing you can do is use a paper cup and form some ice in your freezer. Or you could, if you wanted a rounder shape, make uh, take a balloon and um, fill it with water and then freeze it. Now, how would you go about filling a balloon with water? Well, the first thing that you need to do is blow up the balloon, and this allows it to stretch and become less resistant to um, holding the water. First, I'm gonna blow up the balloon. Now, it would be really fun if we could fill up a balloon with water and make it this big. I've seen some things online where people have used water balloons and fill them up to this size. But I found that the regular party balloons that you can buy in the store, they don't hold that much water. Now, how are we going to get the water into the balloon? Well, if you have a hose that has a very small nozzle on it, you could um, use that to push in here and fill it up. I don't have one of those, and you may not either. And plus, this time of year, we don't usually have our outdoor water turned on. This is a funnel and the end is small. So what I'm going to do is take the mouth of the balloon and put it over the funnel like this. And then I put it under the faucet and it filled up. This balloon when blown up with air was the same size as that yellow one. It was huge. But this is all the amount of water that I could fit in here. Once you filled it with water, then you tie a knot in the balloon. All right, well, I have filled this up with water. It takes about two hours for a balloon this size to freeze up. Now, those of you who've attended science programs at the library in the past know that I have these ice cube ball ice cube makers, and this one doesn't wanna come out. And if that happens, what you do is run it um, under some hot water, and then the ball will come out. So, um, but for the purposes of our experiment today, we're gonna use the balloon. So I have some safety scissors. If you're a kid, you'll want the safety scissors and you just cut the knot off of the balloon. You have to knot it before you put it in the freezer, otherwise the water will just pour right out. And then you peel the balloon off and you have this beautiful, it's really more of an egg shape than a ball shape, but it goes right into your bowl. The next thing that you're going to do is put a little bit of salt on your bowls. Now you all have the, if you've gotten the kit from the library, you should have these little packets of salt. If you don't have the little packets of salt, you can use just basic salt um, and you sprinkle it on. Now in the beginning, not much is gonna happen. One of the things that really helps move this along is to add a little bit of water. So what I'm going to do is I have some hot water here. And in order to really see the colors, you wanna add some food coloring. Now, I don't have the liquid food coloring. It turns out that a lot of people must make cookies around this time of year um, because the stores were out of food coloring that was liquid. So this is cake coloring. It's a little paste. You can get gel coloring. You can get um, all kinds of things. And if all else fails, do you know what's really good to get color from is a, um, hot coffee or tea, and then just let it cool down a little bit. If you have the paste colors, you're gonna need hot water to um, add to the paste in order to get a nice, good color out of it. I found that when I use cold water, the, the coloring doesn't dissolve very well. 
Now, I am going to protect the surface in front of me. Even though I have a vinyl tablecloth on, I wanted to use a white napkin here so that we can kind of see what's happening. So if you could look really closely at this ice, you can see that it's melting a little bit. But we're gonna pour a tiny little bit of the colored water on top, like this. And I don't know if you saw, but the water, when it comes out, stains. So it landed on my um, white napkin on top of my tablecloth. Um, so um, this is why you need to protect your clothes and your tablecloth. So since I'm wearing my white lab coat, I am going to protect my clothes with a, an apron, just in case. It's always a good idea to protect everything. So now it's sat here for a few seconds and you can see that there are some crevices that are starting to form in the ice. In order to see it really clearly, I pour the extra liquid out and then I'm gonna put a little bit more on of salt. So now I would empty the second salt packet on there and let it sit for a minute. Do -do -do. And then I'm gonna pour some more colored water on there. And when you look, you can see more crevices. And the longer that you let the ice sit on there, whether or not you add more salt, it will make deeper and deeper crevices. So I have some pictures of ice that has sat for a while and you can really see um, how it shows up. Now, if you have a magnifying glass at home like I do, you may find that it's really cool to look at the ice through a magnifying glass. Now, it's also fun if you wanted to try different colors. So you might start with one color. I just have blue down here um, for my video, but you can use red or green or all sorts of other colors and um, make sure to protect your clothes and your tabletop when you do this. And then don't forget that you don't have to use a balloon ball. You could also use a cup of ice and that will give you an interesting different shape. And it just pops right out as you can see. So thank you, I hope you have fun exploring ice and salt and I will see you later. Thanks for watching, bye-bye.